Okay, this video is for the satellite finder of Xcruiser XS9700HD digital satellite speeder. Okay, this is my finder. In this video, I will explain how to upgrade the software of this uh, XS9700HD. Let's power on my finder. You have to press and hold the power key for a few seconds. The finder will turn on. While it's on, you can check the software version first to make sure. If you are seeing this display is blinking, it is because of my camera frames, not because of the finder. Yeah, the camera frames are 25 frames per second and this light is blinking more than that. So that's why it uh, cannot match with the synchronous. Anyway, uh, this is my finder. Uh, let's check the software version, present software version inside. Go to settings. In settings, you will see system settings. In system settings, go to information. Information it shows software version 1.0.1.215. That is a software version. Release date is 2017 That is the release date of the software. Let's install the new software. It is already inside my USB. You can download it from the website of the X Cruiser copy to the USB connect the USB to the finder then exit go to the software upgrade option here is the software upgrade option go to press ok and then here you will see two options one is USB upgrade second is DB management DB management will make one video about the DB, DB management later but now we have to go for USB upgrade first you will see the software files inside the USB as of now there is only one file inside the USB that's why it shows only the one file uh, make sure the software file is always shows dot bin at the end b i n so that is the software file binary file is actually so you will see the file press ok on that file before that I want to make sure the finder doesn't get off during the software so what I do I connect the power to make it confirm that it doesn't get off during the soft get up there sometime it happens so the finder will get dead so let's press the power ok and now press the power button again to power on the finder will start and you start to upgrade the software so make sure while updating the software never turn off the finder if it's turned off by any mean accidentally or intentionally the finder will dead there will be no any power on so you have to do some hardware repair like you have to re replace the flash IC or maybe reprogram the flash IC so that is a big headache so try to avoid these things always use the charger connect with power and then start the software upgrade now the software upgrade is completed press the power button again as of the finder is off so let's power on again now the finder is with the new software the old software has been erased and the new software has been written to the flash memory of the finder. Now you can remove the USB so the finder will be working alone without the USB. Now this is my finder with the latest software installed. Let's check what is the new software now. System information. Okay, so the new software version is 1.0.1.319. That is the latest software version, and the release date is 2019-03-12. That is the recently released software. Okay, every time you upgrade the software of the Finder, it is recommended to reset to factory default. So whatever the big changes happen inside the software, it will be re-raised and then it will be rewrite on the flash memory. So it's always recommended to restore factory default and the default password for the finder is 000 all and press ok to confirm that's it now the software is reset receive finder is reset to default settings everything is from the software recent software that's it 